Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today, and this story comes from Keithley in Yorkshire. We recently covered a big story from West Yorkshire, so don't forget to check out our story on the attempted assassination of the Mayor of Kirkley's son-in-law. Before we start with the story, I'd like to send my respect to the mosques of Keithley for their help during the COVID pandemic. They have been used to vaccinate a lot of people and there is a big Muslim population in the Keithley area and I believe about eight mosques. We are here today with local community leaders to encourage people to have their vaccine. We've worked with the mosque leaders really closely. They've helped us book patients in. They've helped spread the word in the community. It's important that patients understand the vaccine will help protect them against the disease and reduce the risk of becoming seriously unwell. We'd love We're going to talk about these statements from the police shortly and the worries from the local community. But firstly, we'll start with the news via the Metro evacuated a street five people have been arrested in a right-wing terror raid so the right wing is neo-nazi type groups so national action would be an example of right-wing terrorism and there has been a big rise in recent years in these sorts of arrests two men and a woman were arrested in keithley near bradford by officers from the counter-terrorism police in north east and the men aged 29 and 30 and the woman aged 28 were taken to a West Yorkshire police station. They were arrested for commission preparation and instigation of acts of terrorism, contrary to Section 41 of the Terrorism Act 2000. A man who's 28 years old from North Wales and a teenage boy who is 16 years old from Wiltshire have also been arrested on suspicion of the same offences as part of the investigation. Police searched two addresses in Keithley and found what they described as potentially suspicious material and the bomb squad were called in to provide support. A number of people who live on the street were evacuated from their homes as specialist officers investigated. One resident says she is currently waiting out in the cold and has no idea when she'll be able to return to her home. She said the police knocked on her door and told us we needed to evacuate. They took our details and did not tell us what was going on. And if you go to the update from the Counterterrorism Police Unit North East, they've done an update for West Yorkshire Police. And they state that they made the arrest on Saturday, May the 1st. And the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit attended the address. They took precautionary measures and a cordon was put in place and they evacuated some people. But now the cordon has been removed. On the 3rd of May, two days later, police were granted more time to question the people from three different areas. So this highlights the severity of the, the arrest. On Tuesday, the 4th of May, 2021, the counter-terrorism police issued another update. They said, we recognise there is concern in the area because of the activity over the weekend in Keithley. They said the arrests were part of a pre-planned operation and intelligence-led. There is not believed to be any immediate risk to the community. The arrests are part of an ongoing investigation by counter-terrorism police into a right-wing terrorism group. And we are grateful for the understanding and patience of locals in the area. They then go on to say that speculation of any kind is unhelpful to the investigation and has a negative impact on any further prosecution. They ask people not to comment or speculate on the people that are arrested and the subjects of the investigation on social media or platforms. And if you have any concerns, please speak to the neighbourhood policing team in the first instance. So the reason the police are saying this is because a lot of local community news sources have been saying that the threat was to the local community in relation to the Muslim community. I'm not going to say any specific locations or landmarks that they may have been targeting because we do not know that that would be pure speculation. And it is very common, I'm not sure why, they strongly believe that this was what the plot was about. And of course, people are upset that this hasn't got more coverage in mainstream media. This isn't being discussed on TV if it was an Asian arrest. And this is definitely something people should be talking about. And we're definitely going to follow this story. Make sure that it gets the platform that it deserves. Like I said, there's been a rise in anti-Islam attacks in recent years. One of the biggest ones was the Christchurch one in New Zealand 
where a man killed dozens of Muslims that were attending Friday prayer. And in 2019, the police in West Yorkshire and North Yorkshire increased patrols in the local areas out of fear of a copycat attack in the UK. And that definitely highlighted the risk and growing interest in far-right terrorism. One of the most recent convictions and jail sentences for far-right terrorism is Ben Hannum. He was a police